How much blood do you need to test for DNA? So the fast answer is hardly any at all. A tiny little speck, tiny little dot, a tiny little transfer is going to be enough. In reality, it depends on what it's on, what the background is, and are there any interferences with it. So blood on clothes, you're going to need a little bit more if it seeped into the clothing. If you have blood on a fingerprint with just a tiny little bit that was offset to, say, a door handle, you can test it with far less. Of course, if you have a whole vial of blood, it doesn't really matter. You could do it with a tiny little bit because it's going to be pure, but you're not going to ever test enough because you might be able to run the sample 10,000 times or something on, on a whole vial of blood. It depends on where it came and are there interferences interferences with the amplification of the DNA. So do you need more to start with or can you amplify it cleanly? That's that's the biggest factor. But in the days of modern science today, hardly any at all. A tiny little, like if you were to have blood on your finger and you were to touch a door handle, and I don't know if you've ever seen something like that if you have a transfer, but if you have just a tiny little bit and it transfers onto a smooth surface, it would be so little that you could even barely see it and you can get a DNA profile as to whose blood that was.